Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Mark Navarra of the head football coach at Kingsford. How's it going? Good, good. Thanks for having us. Um, so talk about the summer and how things have been going for you guys. Well, it's been really good. You know, I, I pretty much like everybody else, we start back in uh, January with uh, with our lifting program and things like that. Uh, the turnout's been good. Um, moving into the summer, more seven-on-seven seven stuff and some lineman camps and things of that nature. But uh, overall, it's been a good off-season for us. Okay, so going into, you know, this this upcoming season, talk about the group that you have. Yeah, well, um, our group, we, we've got a, we got a pretty good group of, of seniors coming back. Um, from last year with a pretty good football team. We we lost, uh, and we lose four kids that ended up in uh, two of them at Michigan Tech and two at, at Northern Michigan on scholarship. So four total there, that was a pretty good uh, pretty good group of seniors last year. But we do bring back quite a few um, of our offensive our offensive play, playmakers, um, which is, you know, quarterbacks back for his third year. Um, wideouts, three-year wideouts played a whole bunch last year. Um, are missing a couple of running backs, so we'll be uh, we'll be new back there. But uh, pretty excited about the group that, that that we have. All right. Well, it's time to talk about all of the players that will be returning for your team, as well as the as well as some names to watch. Let's start with the offense, and then we'll go to the defense. Sure. Um, we do bring back a couple offensive linemen. Um, White Shippy was a tackle for us last year, and then a Logan De Clark was also with us, and and. Uh, Mason Tappy, those three are, are, are back for us. Uh, we do lose a couple up front. Uh, the quarterback, Nick Novara, is back. It's his third year for us. Um, wide receivers, uh, Gavin Trevillian, Gavin Grund, and Jack Kriegel, those three guys that played a whole bunch for us last year, and they're all back. Um, so those are some pretty good weapons for us to have. And we have some pretty good players. Uh, um, Caleb Kleist is back for us um, after a pretty solid year for us in uh, – and then Andreas Finley is another guy. Uh, we're looking to um, for some help from him this year as well. Okay. Okay. So real. Uh, also, let's go to the defense now. So same same type of thing. Our 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 secondary is pretty much intact from last year, uh, along with most of our linebackers got a lot of playing time. Uh, defensive line will be brand new for us. Um, that'll be a focal point for us to kind of kind of look at and and uh, make sure that we're we're still up, uh, up there. We we do have some good people. I think coming in, uh, Blake Flamini was one that's caught my eye in the offseason, um, getting himself ready to to be a, a real uh, a force for us. Yeah, um, as well, and then special teams. Yep, um, special teams, our, our kicker um, was kind of part-time guy for us last year, um, Jack Olson. Uh, he, he'll, he'll be back for us, and then uh, Punter, um, we're going to need a new Punter this year. We haven't, we haven't quite ironed that one out yet. Okay. All right. Let's, um, well, we've talked about a lot of the kids. Now let's talk about the, you know, the upcoming schedule this year um, that you have. So, all right. It starts off August 29th at Escanaba, and then we'll go um, September 6th home against Houghton, September 13th at Gladstone, September 20th home against, uh, help me out here, um, Nag Nagani? Nagani. Nagani, yes. Got it. All right. Uh, September 27th at Calumet. September, uh, October 4th at Hancock, um, October 11th, home against Ishpeming Westwood, October 18th at, at Menominee, and then, uh, and then finishing out the regular season, October 25th, home against Marquette. Yes. Uh, so, we actually open up with Escanaba at home. Uh, right. I feel that schedule is wrong. So, um, but yeah, you know, pretty solid stout, uh, you know, starting off Escanaba, um, kind of an up and coming team up here for, um, in the UP. A um, little bit larger than us, so it's, it's obviously a, a, a huge one for us. Degani won the league last year. They're in the state finals, of course. Uh, two years ago, Menominee was in the state finals last year um, as well in D7, uh, but just a solid program. Marquette, um, definitely one that's you know, the largest school up here and, and a lot of points, on, and, and they're going to have a, a really nice team as well. So the, the conference week in and week out is going to be something that we got to make sure that we're um, – we're focused on each each team each week. Okay, so kind of explain since this is your first time on here. Where where is Kingsford? Kingsford is located one hundred one hundred miles north of Green Bay, Wisconsin. So right on the border of Michigan and and, and Wisconsin. Um, yeah, you really can't get any closer to it than us. So we're we're separated. You know, you can literally see a 
across the river and there's a uh, Wisconsin. So we're really great smack dab in the middle of, of the UP um, and pretty much south. All right. Um, and then just also like, you know, next few weeks, what's it going to really look like for this, uh, for this program, uh, you know, heading into that, um, that the 29th against Escanaba? Yeah, just like everybody else, right? We're, we'll be off and running here um, on Monday um, with our stuff and, 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 you know, practice at nine in the morning and, and six at night and uh, just installing like everybody else is probably trying to install your stuff as soon as possible if you haven't got a whole bunch of it going already. Um, but just, just, uh, just the, you know, the, the whole team, team t together uh, kind of coming around as one big unit is, is really nice to have. And we're looking forward to that. Absolutely. All right. Well, Mark Navarra, thank you so much for the time as always. And uh, best of luck to you guys uh, this coming season. Thank you very much.